guys my name is Mike and in this video I'll be doing a comparison between the M16 um, assault rifle and the Scar L assault rifle. Uh, first of all let's start with the M16 close range it's uh, three shots to the body two shots to the head um, with flak jacket you need one extra bullet so four shots close range and um, medium range it's three shots and long range it's um, four shots so basically what you'll notice if you've seen the T3AK video is that they have exactly the same damage stats which is a, a huge letdown you have a fully automatic weapon having exactly the same damage stats as a um, semi-automatic weapon right so if you want to give yourself a chance close range with the M16 you might want to try the straight from the hip ability uh, which may basically gives you some chance against uh, an SMG or an assault rifle but still you know you're at a huge disadvantage um, you know going up against any any automatic weapon you're at a disadvantage at uh, such a, a close range so straight from the hip uh, evens things out um, a bit not much but at least you, you won't die as, as often as you would without it uh, what you can do is you can add the under barrel shotgun which can be sometimes a, a beast up close uh, but it's very inconsistent other times you know you shoot somebody twice from point blank and they don't die um, yeah basically the M16 everybody knows it's a gun that uh, you use to hold down uh, li lines of sight you know find a spot get uh, two three kills and uh, move to another spot um, that's what the M16 is is, um, is made for. It's not a run and gun uh, weapon. Uh, see here how even though I shoot the guy three times, I needed one more bullet to kill him. So um, yeah, it's not a gun that you can uh, run around and, and get a lot of kills. It's uh, more like a support uh, weapon. And uh, this is where I I don't like the fact that it has exactly the same weapon stats as the T3 AK. I mean. Um, I don't know what Chaos was thinking when they did that, uh, giving the same amount of damage to a T3AK with a M16. Um, you can put a red dot on the T3AK and you can single shot it or burst fire it and you'll have the same result as the M16 long range, only close range you have a fully automatic weapon. So, well, I'm, I'm, not, really, I'm not very uh, keen on using the M16 guys and uh, the reason being uh, First of all, the comparison to the T3AK and then the Scar L, which I think is a far better weapon uh, long range. But anyway, um, back to the M16, you know, if there's one attachment that is valuable to use is the ACOG sight. Uh, not as much in, as um, for close range maps like this one, but for longer range maps like uh, Crossroads, for instance, you can use the, the ACOG there and use the M16 as an uh, anti-sniper rifle. And here you see how difficult it is to hit somebody who's moving at a distance with uh, the M16. And um, uh, here's a couple of clips I got um, using the shotgun attachment so you can uh, basically uh, get your long range kills like this one and then uh, move closer and use your shotgun to clear out um, rooms of opponents but uh, again the shotgun I'm not real keen on using that either I mean it's only three bullets so if you miss you're basically you're basically screwed and uh, I'll just um, uh, say it one more time guys I mean okay a lot of you guys like the M16 and you might be saying that I don't know what I'm talking about and it's a beast of a gun and I don't know how to use it but you know doing well with a gun doesn't mean that it's a, it's a good gun you just you, you might have gone a lot better scored uh, had a lot better score with another weapon instead of the M16 I just feel it's a redundant uh, weapon in uh, home front uh, it doesn't it doesn't do anything more than other guns do you could use the T3AK uh, and have the the same results long range and better results close range than the M16 and the Scar L you'll see later on is is a far better weapon both close range and, and long range so let's start with the stats close range it's a uh, uh, one burst and um, headshot of course one burst uh, flag jacket becomes a, a, a two burst um, kill 
Uh, mid range, it's still one burst it needs only needs uh, three shots all three shots to connect and long range it's uh, it uh, depends you know um you can be lucky and get two shots or most of the times you'll need three or even four shots to get a kill across map so this is a small comparison i did uh, with um, the red dot which is not the red dot it's a blue dot but anyway the blue dot with the university a cook and and you'll see this is without steady aim by the way and you see how the first bullet hits where the dot is and every other shot goes upwards so there's a strong uh, recoil upwards going recoil uh, for the um, scar l and uh, the a cook doesn't affect it it's exactly the same thing but um, you keep that in mind when, when shooting. I mean, you might want to aim for the chest in order to get a headshot instead of aiming for the head and having all um, but one bullet uh, hit the target. So you can see here it's a, oh, almost identical. Now here I'll um, this first clip is uh, without steady aim. What I'm showing right now, and uh, I'll show you the difference uh, what steady aim does to this um, this gun and. Um, so this is um, the Scar L with a steady aim and what you'll see in a, in a while is that the grouping of the bullets with steady aim is a lot closer than uh, without. So that means that this is an ability that you might want to use with the Scar L if you want to do well in uh, longer range um, engagements. You see here the grouping of the bullets. Right, so let's take a closer look at some uh, clips here and see what the Scar L does. If you're using the straight from the hip ability, then uh, it becomes, in my opinion, it becomes like a shotgun close range. You can get uh, one shot kills like I do here, uh, but most of the time you'll find that it's um, two to three shots, exactly like a, a shotgun uh, does the 870 and the under barrel shotgun. Uh, only you got 30 uh, clips, 30, 30 rounds in, in the in the clip. And you see here that uh, it's not it's, it's decent. It's not um, <laughs> something you want to go against SMGs and assault rifles all the time, but uh, at times it, it does it, it does its job uh, with a straight from the hip attachment. And uh, this is what the Scarl is uh, mid range. It's usually two to three bursts. Um, you, you very rarely will get a one shot kill. But most of the time you get two to three shots and uh, it's extremely accurate. I mean, you can get shots like that. The M16 would have never pulled that kill off. Uh, off. And uh, you can use it as an anti-sniper rifle. And again, it's very, very uh, accurate. No chance the M16 can compare with the uh, Scarl in uh, mid-range or long-range. Um, or even close range. I mean, there's, there's basically, in my opinion, the Scarl is... Uh, miles better than the M16 and uh, using a, a red dot uh, allows you to uh, go into close range uh, encounters as well as uh, long range it's the most versatile attachment I think um, unlike the ACOG which is I think is uh, more suited for um, a longer uh, engagement and again here look at the hip fire with the um, the uh, straight from the hip ability and uh, I'm not I'm not using tactical reload because you don't really need it for this gun I mean uh, it's a burst fire weapon you control uh, the rate of fire uh, you don't have to have a tactical reload so instead I go for um, straight from the hip and and steady aim I combine the, the two and this is what uh, Scarl is uh, best for it's uh, for picking off people at a distance. The ACOG, in my opinion, is the best attachment because it doesn't increase uh, the recoil, and um, you have a lot better visibility than with the uh, red dot. And you see here how you can get uh, two burst kills at uh, long distance. You know, the, some of these guys might be <laughs> damaged. You know, and I get two shot kills, but most of the times this is what you'll get. You'll get a two shot kill um, medium range and three shot to four shot kill uh, long range and um, it's not necessarily that you use the ACOG for uh, just a uh, long range engagement I mean if, if you happen to come across uh, people when you're going from one point to the other it's uh, it's very effective um, the ACOG it, uh, allows you to take one two people at a time 
Um, again, no comparison with the M16. I'm afraid, guys. I know M16 is the favorite gun for a lot of people, but um, I personally don't see how you can uh, uh, find any use for it if you have the T3AK and the uh, Scarl. Um, Scarl, for in my opinion, is a lot better uh, shooting people at a distance and miles better uh, close range. It with a straight from the hip ability it becomes basically a shotgun. Uh, one, one thing you can use uh, is the, um, the thermal goggles especially for uh, huge maps like uh, Crossroads so you can um, see those uh, snipers uh, better uh, it'll get you uh, quite a few kills it's just um, drains your battle points that's the only thing I find wrong with it I mean drains your battle points and you don't have uh, airstrikes or uh, vehicles and stuff like that right guys uh, I hope you find this found this um, video useful I know the the comparison I make is based on on my experience more than anything I mean if, if you're uh, finding the M16 easy to use you know fair enough go ahead use it this is just a personal opinion I'm not trying to <laughs> I don't have an agenda or or anything uh, I just find that uh, the M16 is, um, how shall I say, it's redundant. I mean, having two weapons that uh, do anything the M16 does better than the M16 uh, gives me at least no reason to to use it. So, anyway, I hope you found this um, video uh, interesting. Uh, I'm uh, looking forward to your uh, comments. If you have any comments, if you have any different opinions, just uh, let me know. So that's it for me. Uh, see you later. Bye.